hey guys and we're back welcome back to my channel <laughs> this is round two. Oh my god you guys like i've been having technical difficulties my i don't know what happened but everything just like conked out on me it like really started bugging so i'm sorry you guys we had like some technical difficulties for the first part so hopefully you guys come back. Um, I know you was like, well, what happened to her? What really happened? What is really going on? Like, oh my God. So if you guys are just tuning in, we're here again. We're back at it again. This is the second part. Hopefully you guys are loving the first part. I'm so sorry we was having all those technical difficulties. I have my colors out. I've already, here's my reference photo. I'm going to link everything down below in case you are a new person. In case you guys are new around here, my name is Danielle. I'm the artist behind Creative Girl of Color. If you like this sort of content, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications. Here is, I've already drew it out and all of that stuff. You're going to catch that on the first one. And I'm using acrylic paints for this particular thing. All Everything's going to be down in the description box below as well as social media tips, tricks. If you guys attempt to do this particular tutorial, tag me up on Instagram. Hit a girl up. Let me see what you got going on. And I would love to see you, you guys' rendition of this. You can use any acrylic paint that you want to use. If you are on the replay, comment down below and let me know how you feel and what you feel about this particular tutorial. I would definitely love to hear it. So, again, I'm using um, my artist grade acrylics. I've already put out my colors, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue. You want to have different shades of blue when you're doing this background, as well as my um, artist grade titanium white, but you can use any titanium white as well as craft paint. I put out my colors because I'm going to start putting in the leaves and shrubbery. And, of course, you're going to hear the ambient sounds of my child. Hopefully you love children, you guys. And please let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. I would love to know that. All right. Now, of course, hopefully you guys are familiar with the color mixing process. Um... If not, after this live is over, I will link it up in the iCard, my color theory video. Now, I, I have out yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium yellow hue, as well as um, some light green permanent, because we're going to have different hues of green and all of that down below down below so let me mix up my green as you know we got in order to get a green you got to have a little bit of yellow and blue that's going to give me my green yeah and ooh, look this artist color is so like insane right it's so insanely potent that my yellow, which is student grade, is not even permeating through. It's basically giving me like some weird vibes here. <laughs> it's giving me weird vibes. Oh yeah, and it's going to be lots of singing because, yeah, I love to sing. Get yourself a palette knife. And start mixing your colors. So that's going to give me my good greens right there. That's a good basic green. That I'm happy with. And I'm going to put a little more. I'm going to add a lot more yellow. To give me another shade of green. This is going to be my yellow green. For a little more yellow. And. 
And I want to actually add a little bit of black into this. Um, <clears throat> if I can find my black, I will definitely add a little bit of black into it. How you feel about that? Actually, black and yellow makes a good... Black and yellow, black and yellow makes a little bit, makes a really good yellow. I mean, uh, green, right? So I'm going to mix a little bit of black in into my green to give me some contrast and like drama. Because that's what we want the drama on the canvas, not in our lives, right? We want all that drama in the canvas. All right, so I got a little bit of black in there. I'm actually going to, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of this light green permanent, right? And that's gonna give me a whole nother shade of green. I never use phalo green. Um, because even though it's a green color, it's a very highly saturated, weird kind of green it's not something that you find in real life so I don't actually use it that often but I do like to use it for skies and water and stuff like that it's a really good color to use for your skies and water anyway I'm gonna wipe off my palette name Now, I'm going to get, I'm going to actually spray this too. You want to spray it because it's acrylic and it will dry up. So, I'm actually going to spray that because I got my di different variations of green that I wanted. So, I'm pretty happy with that. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty then. So, now... Let me go ahead and... Oh, but we also have some brown in there, too. So you want to get your brown because... Oh, I'm going to use a little bit of... I'm going to use a little bit of burnt sienna. And you can use any burnt sienna you want to use. And that will give you what you need. This is my new brush. I just had to buy me a new um, angle brush. Simply Simmons. I like it a lot. It's dope. I love angle brushes. They're good for leaves and trees and all of that jazz. I'm going to get it wet. And this is a 3 eighths, I think it, I believe it is, angle brush. And it's new, so it should give me some pretty good, uh, wonderful activities. I actually took some chalk. Regular kids chalk you can find at the dollar store, any place that you feel is appropriate to buy you some nice chalk. <laughs> you telling everybody? You telling people welcome back to your channel? <laughs> All right, now. In my reference photo, I have I have some dark greens, bright greens, all of these different greens. But I'm actually going to get in my tree, my little tree. So for the tree, I'm going to add a little bit of black, burnt sienna. Because that will give me like a dark brown. And a little bit of this yellow ochre to give me um, like this weird tree color. Like this weird, ambulance. weird ambulance. Okay. And then I'm just gonna start in and I'm gonna follow my, follow my outline for my tree.
And that'll be that. And I'm just taking this and I'm going to rough it in. I may even have to turn around and add. Because at the bottom of I'll see, right? You're going to have a lot of darkness. And don't worry about it if it feels like a little bit. If it feels a little too dark. Because you, as you know, this will, I mean, it feels a little bit too light. I'm actually going to add some black. I'm actually going to add some more black because I want a really dark value. And I can actually add a little bit of blue to give me some interest, which is going to make it really dark. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want... The inside of my tree trunk. And then put a little bit of that dark value. This is like a tree, you guys. It looks like a, some sort of tree underneath here. That dark value is actually going to convey <clears throat> that there's some sort of shadow in here. So I'm kind of putting all of that all over the place. All right, now, don't worry about how it looks right now because that's just the first initial layer. Let's go in and add, hello. So let's go in and add a little bit of this green, yeah? That green we just mixed up. And I'm actually going to take it and I'm going to add. See, I'm adding my little, my little leaves here. And see, the good thing about an angle brush is that you can give the illusion. And you can actually make things look like leaves pretty quickly. And again, this is our initial layer. And then I'm going to go back and do... I'm actually going by my reference photo. And I'm just going to grab some different greens. And 
Now this leaf right here, this one right here is going to actually be yellow. So. And look, you can get all these beautiful lines. With your angle brush. And you're putting all these different leaves. These leaf shapes. With this angle brush. All while utilizing these different greens. And I'm actually going to put like a darker green over here. And I'm actually putting some darker greens down here as well. I'm getting a little bit of burnt sienna. With a little bit of yellow ochre. Mixing it together. And I'm going to get this excess off. And I'm actually going to go over the top of this to give my... Doesn't matter if you go over your fish. Because I wanted to give it. The illusion. A little more yellow ochre. That's going to give it the illusion. I'm going to put a little bit down the sides here. As well as over here. That's going to give me the illusion like this is. A true tree bark. Because as you can see, it has these little spiky bits right here. And then you still have, I'm going to get some burnt sienna. And spread some of that right here. Because this is supposed to be an illusion of some sort of tree.
And again, we're just doing a blocking in stage right now. And I think it has like a purple flower. So I'm going to wash off my brush. And I'm going to kind of get into my purples. And I'm actually going to change my brush into get me a filter. I'm going to get a little bit of Diox purple. A little bit of white. And I'm going to go in. And I'm going to fill in. I'm doing like these swooping kind of flickering motions to give me the illusion like I have these purple leaves coming out of the side of the trunk. <clears throat> now I'm going back into my green I'm doing these little sweeping motions because if you look at the reference photos, it has these little spiky things. The leaves are not like, you know. And then there's one coming up here. And then there's another one. Now with this green, I'm going to add... I'm actually going to add some white to this green. And see how I get these like beautiful light lines here that I can actually add. And this is with the angle brush again. Don't put these little marks here to indicate leaves. Put another one here, another one there, and there. Now 
Then you want to like kind of turn your thing to give you more. <laughs> 